Yeah, look what Zach just hand caught right there. That's pretty awesome. So it looks like Zach is getting our uh, fire started for the morning. He's running the four directions bushcraft little. Oh, the 110 fires? Yeah. Yeah, man, those things work awesome. Yeah. Sparked it up and buried it with the coals to get the coals started instead of going with small sticks and building up from that. Now that it's daylight and morning, this whole area is a lot more beautiful. Got the fire going over there. This is my camp. Zach's down there at the creek right now. I'm gonna take you over and let you check out Zach's little campsite. So, we both are rocking uh, outdoor vitals and war bonnet hammocks. I was a little skeptical at first, but I actually love my hammock. Um, it's really, really comfortable, blocks the wind really well. The outdoor vitals under quilt and top quilt did a good job keeping me warm. Even though we had a drop of about 40 degrees last night. Zach is hooping and hollering, which only means we got a lot of food. So I'm gonna go down to the creek with y'all. And we're gonna go through and see what we actually got in my minnow traps. And for anybody who's curious, this is the creek. This is right by our campsite. So for things like water, soups, just aquatic meals, this is gonna be the easiest source for us to grab it. All right, so Zach's taking the grill water filter. Looks like he's getting himself some water. There's our crawdad soup for the morning. And uh, I heard some hooping and hollering this morning. Yeah, it was just uh, a lot of crayfish. A lot of crawfish in there? Crawfish, crayfish. All right, let's see what we got going on. Not as many in that one, but there's at least a pound in each, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. That'll get lunch. Put those guys back in. All right, while Zach's off to carry our breakfast, I'm gonna go check out our traps for lunch. I'm gonna let you guys check out the second one. Oh yeah, look at that. Just teeming. It's the way back up to my camp from the creek. There's my hammock. There's Zach. And we're not too far from the creek at all. So there's my bear bowl. Gotta hang it up before I clean it out for breakfast. And there's my hammock. That's home. So we have the Superfly tarp with the war bonnet hammock. It's got a built-in ridge line and bug net, which is really important out here with the mosquitoes. We have the outdoor vitals under quilt. Really, 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 really handy last night. And going in here, there's a little pocket. So I gotta keep my camera and my charger. So. I can keep everything charged for the night and keep it safe in case it starts raining. Well, there's definitely plenty of dead trees and dead, or dead wood around here. But um, two big and essential important things you definitely want is uh, you do not want to carry this under your arms. And you definitely want to have gloves on because of the scorpions and black widows that are out here. They'll uh, make for a very, very bad time. You'll have a miserable couple days. So you definitely want to check under all the logs and look and do inspections before you start collecting.
I'm gonna try to see if I can get away with do some foraging to have some compliments to our soup. I know I have a beet on uh, some pecan trees, as you guys can see. I marked our trail, so as we're walking through, once I get close, I can follow this and make sure we can get back to camp for the first few days because I don't have these woods memorized. All right, guys, so just walk along, looking at the ground, trying to see if I can forage or see anything useful, wild onions, pecans, whatever I can run across, plenty of cactus. There's not really a sense of urgency for that. It's kind of everywhere. I'm trying to find some of the seasonal stuff that uh, will run out by the end of the month. So I'm just looking on the ground and uh, hey, there we go. Let's see how many we got. Sadly, I'm mobile, but I'll flip the camera around right here on the ground. Right here, we have some pecans. I don't know how many there are, but I'm gonna go and collect as many as I can and bring them back to camp and hopefully we can add this to breakfast. So here's a close up before we dig in. It's my nutcracker. But uh, those are the nuts. It's a couple handfuls. It's enough to get us by for the meal. Despite having a good nutcracker and uh, being able to forage them, and it's just substantially a lot more work than going to the grocery store. But once you get a nice, good piece of uh, meat out of the uh, pecan shell. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, those grocery store ones are much bigger, aren't they? They're a lot bigger than these, yeah. These are tiny. It tastes just the same, though. Mm hmm So, that's one of the bigger pieces you'll get when you're uh, cracking them by hand, but... Mmm. This and crawfish soup. Can't be mad at that. Got my uh, titanium canteen. And we're gonna go down to the crawfish traps and grab the smaller crawdads to use them as bait. Even though we do have crawfish, this guy right here is relentless. He's always searching for those calories. Even though it looks like we're eating really good, all the energy we're expending, we're definitely in a calorie deficit. So your main focus is shelter and food. So we got a bunch of these guys. Some of these big red ones are definitely gonna be good for eating. We're gonna take some of these smaller ones and put them in here for bait. So we're gonna go pick up our bows so we can set up some hunting blinds and Hopefully catch some bigger fish or something larger. So Zach, mm. ready to go after the big stuff? Oh yeah. Is no good. That is a waste of my time, unfortunately. Just, I don't know. Got my Matthews Triax all rigged up with my uh, Rampage arrows. Zach's down there looking for his arrows that he lost uh, during some missed shots. But uh, real quick, um, one of the sponsors to make sure we had a bow 
was leading edge archery from Bernie, Texas. They're a local archery company. Um, they made sure that this bow was all tuned up and I was ready to go out for this 30 day challenge. So without them, we wouldn't be able to uh, even have a chance to go hunting today. Even though today is the last day of hunt archery season, hopefully we can uh, make this last day a bang and bring home something. However, hogs are always on the menu. So right now we're at 20 yards and uh, we're just gonna pick a few dots and see how close we get. So we uh, started at the top left, went to the center, then bottom left. And that's still for 20 yards, considering we're at a drastic downhill decline, something I haven't really practiced with. I'll have to make a few adjustments, but that would still hit vitals, something like a whitetail or a hog, that's money. All right, so we're back at camp. Got uh, Zach is getting the fire stoked up for us. We've got uh, crawdads in the trap, dinner time. Uh, we kind of got skunked on hunting today. Uh, we saw turkey, but a bunch of them. But for, as far as archery, today was the last day and they wouldn't get in within 130 yards. And I'm not Cameron Haynes. I, I can't exactly take a 130 yard shot. This is nice. Got the fire going. Got some filtered water. I got a chair. I gotta build mine tomorrow. I'm just borrowing it. And so we got Zach coming up the creek. He just set out a have a heart trap. Uh, if you guys wanna see the setting up of that and see what we catch, you definitely gotta check out his channel. And uh, you'll be able to get an in-depth look on that particular procedure. But uh, now, I'm focusing my attention on getting these minnow traps squared away so we can have some crawfish boil, because I am famished. Wham. Another nice haul. Time to feast. Look at that. That's even more than I was in there earlier today. That's so, yeah, right now, the bobber just oh, went under. I definitely got something. Oh, what is it? I got a turtle. No way. There we go. Oh, he took the bait. He took it. Amazing. Look what Zach just hand caught right there. That's pretty awesome. We got our turtle. There's Zach caught. My minnow traps. Got the crawdads. Today's a good day. All right, so our turtle has been prepped. Chef De Fowler hooked it up for us. We've got our water. Gonna add some chupacabra seasoning. Add a little bit more. And I think we're good to go. All we gotta do is put it over the fire. It's the end of day two. Had some really tasty turtle crawdads from my minnow traps. Super amped about those. Now it's time to hunker down for the night. Get ready for day tris. 